Hi people, <clears throat> it's Nosey, back at you with another video and uh, basically as you can see by the title page either above there or down below I'm here for my mainly my thoughts on the Manchester meetup but before I get into that I also want to show off some uh, bits and bobs that I picked up um, some of these I'm going to show at the end of my thoughts of the weekend a couple of these things that I'm going to show you I actually purchased at the meetup when I was all walking around the comic book shops and stuff but there's other stuff that I haven't shown and you know so I kind of want to get on camera well I'm going to show this off I don't usually show this kind of thing on this channel that much anymore which is the Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue uh, Lightspeed Megazord I got this off of eBay and as you can see it is all box still the box has seen better days but I don't really care about the box really uh, main thing this guy is 100% complete which I'm really really happy and thank you to this guy I have now completed my train Megazord the massive big Megazord that has train bits to him you know This guy, when you basically put it, uh, put it into its individual vehicles, store in each compartment. Um, so now we're getting this, which is an entirely me uh, its own Megazord to begin with. I have my third Megazord in my collection at the moment. And I also have completed one of my Megazords at the same time. So I've kind of killed two birds with one stone there, really. I got this as well through the post. People will already know about this now because I kind of had to go online. I picked up this off eBay as well. Um, it's a little bit. It took a bit of time to come. Um, this is Transformers Universe it's onslaught. It's all awesome. Uh, this is onslaught. So I've been after onslaught this this transformer for quite a while now. So I finally got myself an onslaught. Nothing to do with this channel, but I'm just going to show everything that I recent, recently have got. Any anime fans watching this? Uh, basically, I when I went to the meetup, uh, when I come home, lovely to have. I had this guy waiting for me. And I also had part two of this anime waiting for me as well. Which I've been waiting for for well over nearly a week and a half. Nearly two weeks for Onslaught because it because of all down that way with all the bad weather and everything it kind of got delayed uh, my onslaught figure and I think this must have got a bit delayed as well and basically uh, I've watched all the season one of this and this is now the complete season two and it's uh, if you can see it it's Shakugan no Shanna uh, because it's all shiny it's not going to show very well on the camera it's basically just a, a fantasy type thing where basically this young girl she's known as a flame haze and she basically goes around destroying these monsters in this in this like dimension on our world but humans can't see it only those that are either a flame haze or something else that isn't human can um, they're the only ones that can actually see this dimension that she fights in pretty cool i mean it probably sounds a bit weird to some people but if you give it a chance it's a very, very good save. Season 1's good. I've yet to watch any of Season 2. So that's that. And I also have a Transformer to show. Um, I have shown this on the Transformers YouTube Facebook group thing. But never on camera, I don't think. I managed to pick up... Thank you to... I think it was Vigor Def. Um, I do apologise. Um, <clears throat> think, yeah, I think it was Vigor Def. It was a, a late, one of the reviews that was about maybe two or three weeks ago now, and he was reviewing the it was uh, the other variant, the like the grey one, the, the grey brownie one. But anyway, so it basically was the variant version of this, and he was also talking about Prowl as well. And uh, I went, oh, I really want this toy. And he came back to me saying that they're going for pretty cheap on eBay at the moment. You can get one for about thirty or forty quid. And uh, I managed to pick this guy up for 40 quid 
Uh, it was nice. It's about thirty-five plus five pound postage, so it's made up about forty quid on postage as well. So, and now I have a masterpiece Takara masterpiece Prowl, and uh, hopefully auto assembly if they have any. I want to pick up the two alternate versions of this as well. So yeah, so that's everything I've got lately. So let's get into the thoughts part now, shall we? Um, I'm not going to keep you too long with the thoughts on this because really. Nothing really major really happened the week at yesterday at the Manchester meet. Um, basically, me and Team Edward, or if you will, Sam, uh, we both went down. Well, hof, well, unfortunately, we were we was meant to be going down with Tony. So, uh, son of SG One. Sorry, mate, I forgot your name for a minute. Then we uh, we were meant to be going down with him, but <clears throat> a few days. <clears throat> a few days after we got the final email from Phil, about 25, he basically just um, private messaged me and he said, uh, unfortunately, mate, I'm not going to be able to come down with you, unfortunately, um, now, because he said that he just didn't feel up to it and this, that and the other. So I thought, all right, then. And uh, he messaged me, I think, the day before, yeah, the day before we went down saying, uh, oh, tell people hello for me and everything so um so yeah we we ended up me and sam ended up going down on our own without tony which wasn't very nice because we're, we're essentially the three musketeers really when it comes to anything like this me and to, me tony and sam well it's because we're, we're all from hull and whenever we go anywhere that is geek related it's just easier for all three of us to travel together you know just is not that you, you know it's just the most obvious thing you should do um, so, but unfortunately he didn't come, and it, it was a shame, but you were missed, mate. Uh, you was mentioned quite a few times throughout the weekend, so you was in people's hearts, at least. So yeah, uh, we ended up going down to Manchester, and uh, <laughs> this is where it gets pretty funny. Basically, we've, we've, we have been checking up on the Nostalgia, which was called the Nostalgia Meetup, actually. Uh, that was the name of the meetup, was the Nostalgia Meetup, Manchester Meetup. And uh, hosted by Phil and Jim Monkey. Uh, Jim, well, it was actually Phil's idea, but Monkey was kind of, you could say, was like the number two. He, he kind of helped Phil out to understand where to go, like certain shops we should check out and what bars we should maybe check out or whatever. And um, so, yeah, we, we got there at about. Uh, we set off from Hull at about 20 to 10, so about an hour and 40, yeah, um, in the morning, and uh, we got to Manchester for about half 11. When we got there, I was absolutely starving, I didn't I didn't actually eat much, I had a bowl of cereal that morning, so I was absolutely starving, so we thought, right, while we're here at Piccadilly, we went to Manchester Piccadilly Station. Uh, some people might think about Victoria Station, so that's why I'm mentioning that. Um, so we ended up going to Manchester Piccadilly because we were meant to be meeting up at the Costa Coffee outside the station. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. And uh, me and Sam thought, well, I thought, Sam didn't want anything to eat, but I thought, you know what, we're a bit early. Uh, I'll nip to, to Subway and uh, uh, if there's a subway about, I might go and get something to eat. And luckily there was. There's always a subway. There's about three or four subways just down one stretch of road in Manchester where we was. Um, so yeah, we went to. I went. To, we both went to subway. I'd, went to have something to eat. And um, once we finished up there, we then tried to find. We were walking up the stretch of road, which was, uh, as you turn right out the en main entrance. Uh, exit or entrance into the station and we turned right down where there was a lo load of shops and I thought oh it's probably down here um, thinking it was outside the station I thought it was on that side of the uh, go just going down from the station so we walked all the way about halfway down couldn't find a costa um, we went to something like a, an abandoned refurbished well, not an abandoned but a refurbished Used to be like a petrol station, a really old-fashioned one, but made up into like a ca like a cafe. And uh, me and Sam were stood there, and we, we saw this couple, this young couple. And we asked them, "Oh, do 
do you know where there's a Costa Coffee outside the train station? And they said, oh, we don't know any outside the station, but we do know one at the very end of the train station, which Phil did say about, but we weren't meeting there, we are meeting at another one. And we are like, you know what, why is it our luck that we always have this problem when we go to places new? We ask somebody that we think lived there and they have no fucking clue what we're talking about. And it was just, always happens to me and Sam asking for directions and asking where things are. Um, but yeah, um, luckily Phil rang us a couple of minutes after that and he said, oh, where are you, mate? And he said, oh, I went, oh, right, um, we're in... Manchester mate, but we can't find the Costa you might were mentioning. There's nothing outside the station So he told us that it was opposite a Tesco's and There was a spa uh, a spa shop um, And they say well if, if you if you look for those where well, literally that's the Costa we're in um, We'll go back to the station because that's where he said to go to the station and kind of like come out well luckily we did come out the right way but we just went the wrong direction by the looks of things but it was that was definitely the answer we went the wrong way and we bumped into Petrina uh, Petrina who good went to water assembly first time last year and she also uh, yeah yes yeah, so basically she came along as well and uh, we bumped into her so it ended up the three of us trying to they're scratching our heads trying to find exactly where this Costa Coffee was and luckily female intuition if you will the whole thing um, she gets out her phone and she uses a GPS Google Maps thing and she that's how we kind of eventually find it um, as we get there we're welcomed by uh, Monkey, Phil, Anton, Antonis Prime and uh, David, uh, mon uh, Monkey Not Truck, um, and uh, we're, we're welcomed by all those guys, we give them all the proper bro hug, you know, the bromance, all that again, and uh, we all sat down, had a nice, I had a hot chocolate and everyone else had whatever they wanted, and we just had a real nice good chin wag for about a good hour and a half, maybe, I don't know how long we was in there, but good, at least a good hour. And uh, we're just having a nice chin wag about different things. Anton gave me, gave us all a load of like card things, transformer, live action transformer cards. Uh, I haven't got them. They're what they're in, they're in my, my coat pocket. I forgot to bring them out to show any people on here. Um, but yeah, he gave us all one of those each pack of them, and um, something like a trade card game where you build. I had a bumblebee and a dreadwing. On my in my pack um, but yeah so that was that and I basically just had a nice bit of refreshment we we're just like talking about different things uh, they were talking about all these different transformers people have been posting up all these new figures that people have been posting up from the toy toy fair in New York and stuff like that and other stuff that was that's been on the transformers Facebook YouTube page and um, Facebook group community thing and um, yeah, it was really cool. And then from there, we then made our way to Travelling Man. I believe that was right, Travelling Man, which was the first comic book place we went to. Really big place. It was, well, it was a decent place, a decent sized place. It was, it's bigger than the one in Hull. Um, our ours called of it Amazing Fantasy, and it is decent. It's a it's a bigish one, but. You wouldn't really meant you won't really fit many people in there. You probably could only fit maybe about ten people at once in that shop, and you you'd be struggling to try and get you get out of it, you know, to purchase whatever you wanted to purchase or whatever. Um, so yeah, it was really really nice, uh, nice weekend, a nice nice meet up. We so we went to Travelling Man first, and uh, I did pick up a few things from there. This is where I'm going to show you what I picked up. Again, this is manga. Nothing to do with this channel, but I'm going to show it anyways because it is relevant to the story. I managed to pick up this, which is meant to be the number one horror manga. Uh, and it's Spiral into Horror, Uzumaki. Uh, Junji Ito. Uh, this is the whole thing. This is the, it, there was only, I think there must have been only three volumes of this. 
and this is the whole goddamn thing. Um, so yeah, I managed, managed to pick that up, and I also managed to pick this up, which is uh, I've just recently watched the anime. Uh, it's meant to be it's meant to be season two, but it's not official. But I have kind of just kind of watched one of the anime seasons of this, and Sam's been reading these omnibuses, and I managed to pick that up as well from there. Um, so then we go there, we're in there again for maybe 40 minutes, 45, about an hour or so. A few people get other stuff, uh, get what they want to get, and uh, we then move on to the next place, which was um, the place to have in Birmingham, uh, Forbidden Planet. We go to Manchester's Forbidden Planet. Absolutely ginormous place. That was really big. That was it's, big, it's bigger than the one in Manchester uh, in Birmingham uh, for definite. Um, and uh, we go to there for our second place. Have a look around there, and I pick up these are Transformers related. I managed to pick up the first two volume trades, paper pack trades for Robots in Disguise. Seen as I thought I did read some of these, but it looks like I haven't. Um, so I managed to pick up volume 1 and volume 2 of um, the first two trades. Um, I'm going to start reading these probably very soon. Uh, I've had a look at the, the artwork in these and the artwork's just phenomenal. Uh, the reason why I'm going to get start getting these trades is because I did I have read some of War for Cybertron. Um, is it War for Cybertron? No, more than meets the eye. Sorry, um, more than meets the eyes. I've read a few volumes of that, and I couldn't really understand that much about it. So great on that. Um, so yeah, so I managed to pick them up, and that's all I picked up the whole week, uh, the whole of yesterday. So we went there. After that, we then said, "What do you want to do?" So we go get something to eat. After that. We go to uh, <clears throat> the this like indoor food place in this like little shopping centre. Uh, we have a look. Oh, we 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 do go and have a look in uh, an entertainer and a HMV in there. Um, no, uh, only I think uh, David Monkey Monkey Not Truck bought something and Sam bought um, something from the uh, the HMV, but nobody bought anything from the entertainer, which I was surprised about really, but nobody did. Um, but yeah, and then after the, and then we end, after that we ended up going to the uh, uh, food place, and we ended up uh, all, all of us except for one of us we are, uh, no two of us, uh, Petrina and Monkey uh, Mon Monkey Not Drug or David, they went and got something else, but the rest of us kind of shared um, a couple of bargain buckets from uh, KFC. We all kind of pitched in towards it, and um, yeah. After that, we then walked around Manchester for a bit, tried to find a vacant pub. Uh, we managed to find this really, really nice pub that had a lot... Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it's... Um, one of Monkey's um, locals that he goes into quite frequently, or he has done in the past. And it was pretty cool. It was a real nice... had a very nice old feeling to it. Um, the decor was quite dated, but it was it was it was a nice pub, um, and it had a lot of um, art like uh, posters of different bands and stuff like Metallica and stuff. So it played a lot of real good rock music in there as well, and um, it was really cool. And we stayed in there for quite a few, a couple at least a couple of hours. Uh, had a couple of beer, a couple of drinks. Uh, we said goodbye to Monkey. Uh, Monkey's N TV. Uh, no, not Mon Monkey's N. Sorry, Monkey Not Truck. He went home. Uh, he was the first one to go home. And then after we had something, uh, had all that, we then went our separate ways. Uh, we we all walked to the train station. Um, we all bromanced each other. You know, hugged each other as we always do. And um, we then wait. Me and Sam ended up having to wait about forty-five minutes for our train. Um. No, about 35 minutes, 40 minutes-ish for our train. Uh, so me me and Sam and Petrina, uh, she, she had to wait about 20 minutes for hers. So all three of us, me and Petrina and Sam, were just all talking about the weekend and other bits and bobs. And then uh, 
Finally, our trains did arrive, and then we both was on our merry, merry way back home. So, that was the weekend, or the meet-up, in a nutshell. It would have been really nice if we'd maybe made more of a night of it, you know, like, um... If everybody could have maybe stayed the night, stayed over in Manchester, maybe just get, like, a cheap room for the night and come home the next day, it would have been pretty cool if we could have maybe have, um... You know, I know it wasn't really meant to be a proper meet. It was just a, just a little gathering of friends, really. That's all it really was. But it would have been pretty cool if we could have maybe stayed, stayed over in Manchester the night. I mean, me and Sam were thinking of doing that actually. We we're thinking of just getting a cheap room, you know, pitch in together, and just get like a cheap twin room for the night. But we ended up not bothering. So yeah, so we ended up coming home. And uh, yeah, and that's that. It was really, really good. Um, it was fantastic to meet everybody that went. You know, it was great to meet Anton again. I haven't seen Anton since AA last year, or something of the last year. It's been great to see him again. Same with Petrina. It was last the last time I saw Petrina and Monkey. Uh, yeah, Petrina and Monkey were uh, Monkey Zen was or Jim he likes to be called. Uh, Last time I met them two was back at uh, the Newcastle meetup um, last year. Um, so yeah, it was uh, and uh, David uh, Monkey Monkey Not Truck was again auto assembly last year. Um, yeah, and that's that. <laughs> so yeah, it was really nice to meet everybody again. It really, really was. It was really nice to meet everybody again, um, and. Till Auto Assembly, it looks like everybody's just about sorted a room out now. Uh, I saw great, great news that Anton, he's sorted out, I think, his room for Auto Assembly, or he's at least sorted things out. Um, so it's great to, to know that. Um, it's great that me, me uh, I'm also sorted for Auto Assembly as well. Uh, we managed to get a, a room sorted. Uh, I just want to apologise publicly as well for my outburst on the YouTube, on the YouTube face, Facebook, the YouTube Facebook community group. Um, basically, I put up, put up a bit of an outburst postage because I was absolutely, I was, I was panicking. Uh, I know that I was, say, that I've been saying lately, I've been trying to really zone myself and chill out, but that really took the biscuit from me. I, I've been doing so well lately. And I kind of let myself down um, by essentially just saying that there was no, well there wasn't. The the online system, uh, when we went on the online system to book, that's how you have to do it. You have to book it through this online system link that or the, or the auto assembly guys kind of put out to us all. And uh, we did that and we tried everything and, it, and there was no rooms available according to the online system there was no rooms available at that time and I freaked out absolutely freaked out so I thought shit I bought my pass I bought my pass months and months and months nearly about nearly a year ago since I bought it yeah over a year ago since uh, yeah but yeah a year ago sorry since I bought it and, and I need <laughs> I need to book a room so I was freaking the hell out and luckily, thank you to Billy, the hard work of all, of of Billy and the rest of the Auto Assembly crew. They sorted out more rooms, and thanks to that, we finally got one sorted. So me and Sam are now sorted for a twin room. Uh, I just want to make a shout out and a big, big, big thank you to um, was it Chris Evans? Uh, Chris Evans, who goes to Auto Assembly as well. Um, he offered to take me and Sam in to share with his just to share with him and his friend if we if we couldn't get a room he offered for us to share with him and I just want to say a big big thank you sir for your kind generous offer um it's great to know that at least I do have one or two people that do care enough for me to offer something like that to me um I really do appreciate that and I thank you for that but Obviously, as you already know, we're now sorted, and that is really, really good news to me. I'm really happy. Starting to chill now. Got um, got a couple of more days off from work, and I go back on Wednesday next week. Um, 
so yeah so just chilling having a good time so on that bombshell i say goodbye to you all so thank you for watching um this was pretty long this video but please bear with it i had to talk about two different things in one video which people don't like me doing and they don't like me yammering on <laughs> anyway so thank you thank you to everybody at the meetup it was a fantastic fantastic day out fantastic to meet you all that went down there it was a shame to those people that couldn't make it in the end there was about two or three people that ended up saying they couldn't make it it was a real shame those people that didn't make it but auto assembly is fast approaching we will see you there hopefully big thank you bye bye see you later